Hey guys, it's Nisha and I'm back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be jumping in and talking about my nursing program and everything that's been going on and everything like that. So stay tuned. So if you watched any videos on my channel, you know, like I've never done a mukbang before and I'm super excited. So we got Raising Canes. They just opened up two locations. If you don't know, I'm in New Mexico. They just opened up two locations and I'm super excited. So I got a Dr. Pepper. Next, the box combo, which is the smallest combo. So it comes with like four tenders. So that's a little background on my spoon. I am gonna end up putting a vlog up soon. I did film one. It's so, I don't know what I last said, but I don't regret it. I think it was like a really good decision for me to do. My grades are bad. And I couldn't risk that happening in this semester because this is a semester that you start clinicals in. Or well, this is a semester I'm starting clinicals in. I start my clinicals in like a month, a month from now. And all the assignments and homework and stuff that we've been having, I can only imagine how behind I would be if I was working. Because mind you, I was working 12 hour shifts. And then I would come home, I would work eight to eight, come home, have to do assignments. Okay, and then we was in person already. So I had to do assignments and then work up and then have to go to class on the days I was off. Okay. It was just, the schedule was just inconvenient. The job was so much stress in the end. And because this is something that I really want to do, I can't let a job get in the way of my dream. You know what I mean? I love the job. I learned so much on the job. And because when I was working at the urgent care that was letting me do everything, I learned like a lot, you know, and I'm thankful for that. But mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's not like you have to make hard life decisions and sacrifices. And although it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't feel like I made a good, sometimes it doesn't um, feel like I made a good decision, but I'm glad I did. And my grades are thanking me because yesterday we had a random sim lab that they waited till Monday to tell us about. And I just had a job. My job was so short staffed all the time. I wouldn't even have been able to call out. And if you miss Sim, you don't get to go to clinical. So how it works is like, if you fail Sim lab, that's an automatic fail on clinical. And if you fail clinical, you fail the class. Okay. And the amount of time I could put into studying. Now I'm able to go to class and actually know what they're talking about because I had time to review the information before I got to class. Like, there's so many benefits of me actually leaving. But then sometimes I miss it because it, it it gave me an outlet, you know? But it gave me a chance to be doing something else. But it's okay. I think I'm going to go work in the, um, in the hospital as a PCT on the weekends, like PRN. Because I feel like that's going to give me, like, even more, like, hospital experience. And to anybody that wants to become, a, uh, like, a CMA, I want to give some advice on that, too. How do I make a video about that? On how to become a CMA. How to pass your test and everything. But classes right now, they're not hard. It's just a lot of material. A lot of material. I mean, me not working right now, I have so much time to put into school. But I've been acing my exams. 
And when I get my own health assessment, because health assessment is a pretty hard class. Like, we're doing head to, we're practicing, well, I don't say we're practicing, but we're learning head to toe. And in my mind, I was like, I've seen people do head to toes in the urgent care all the time. Like, I know what I'm doing. When I seen that paper, honey, I started talking about telling the patient to do, like, doing all the cranial nerves. I was like, okay. But I wonder if I'm going to have to tell them, like, what cranial nerve. But I was talking to my professor today for health assessment, and she was like, I asked her, I was like, if you forget a cranial nerve, like, are you on the phone? She was like, no. <laughs> As long as you can prove that you somewhat know what you're doing and you get the gist of it, you're going to be fine. So I feel so much better about it because I felt like the way everybody was making it seem, it was just like, you're just going to fail, you're going to fail, you're going to fail. But I feel like if you just can prove that you somewhat know what you're doing and you're confident. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Confidence goes a long way. Because during one of my checkoffs, the doctor was all, well, not the doctor, <laughs> the teacher was like, and what would you tell the patient about the medication? Like, how long would it kick in? I was like, 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> the way I said it with a straight face, like, on with my chest, she was like, you almost convinced me. <laughs> she was like, you're way too convincing. Like, baby, I don't know, but I don't want you to know, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Y'all, that school is so cool. But let me talk to y'all about some milk. Okay. That's a clear separation in my classroom. On the other side of the class, I don't want to say these hoes be loud because it's mostly this boy. But when I tell you, you can hear that man down the hallway. Now, today we have an exam. And Jiro, which is the first class of the day. So I have Jiro Health Assessment. A Jiro, today's just lecture day, so I had a Jiro lecture, Health Assessment lecture, Fundamentals lecture. We had an exam in Jiro, first class of the day. She got some time to study in the class too. Like, she's not that bad of a teacher. She's just a little. Like, I'm trying to read her. And I've been in her class for a month now, and I cannot read this lady. Like, I don't know. Like, she'd be off. Like, I don't know. I can't read her. But she doesn't seem like a bad person. Like, she's never been mean to me or anything like that. I've seen her, you know, snap at people, but... I don't... I don't know. But you can hear that man down the hallway. Okay? I went to the classroom. I don't know if it ran on my face. Like, I was irritated. Because it is 8 o'clock in the morning. What you screaming like that for? And for what? The person you're talking to is right there. Like, y'all want to be loud in the life of the party so bad. Like, we are not here for this. This is not high school. Everybody in this class is oh y'all. Like, it's perfectly okay to want to have a good time in class. Of course. Okay? But all day, every day, you're sick in the head. Because the way I was trying to stay for this, like, you view my notes, and all I hear is this man cackling. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's looking at my face, but he was like, oh, let me be quiet. <laughs> I never told him off for nothing, but it's too early. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. But other than that, having a really good time in nursing school. A little stressed because it's not easy. But I found that being more positive about the situation makes you feel a lot better about the situation, right? Your outlook on the situation, your outlook on nursing school. You're making nursing school the way that it needs to be for you. 
You know what I mean? That's how I'm looking at her. You're making nursing school the way that you want to make it for you. You have to shape it for you. You know? And I'm I'm taking that. Mind you, I didn't hear that for nobody. Okay. I'm making this. Okay. You have to make nursing school what you need it to be and how you need it to be for you. Okay, you only gonna get the grade that you allow yourself to get. Oh, let's teach you mess up on the chest. Which is rare. Wanna A? Yeah, we're pretty. Yes, guys. I hope you enjoy my little mook bang. And if you say anything about my baby doll eye, you're anti black. <laughs> no, for real. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Reedies. <laughs>